On the way returning home, he met a great big grizzly bear. Oh, that bear stood up in the middle of the road, just as big as he could be. And the preacher began to shake him, and he climbed up a first persimmon tree. Just about then, the bed bear reared his eyes, and he shook his ugly head. And the preacher looked up to the skies, and this are the words he said. Oh, Lord, you delivered Daniel from the lion's den. Also <laughs> delivered Jonah from the belly of the from the belly of the whale, and then now the Hebrew children from the fiery furnace of the good book do declare, Oh Lord, Lord, if you can't help me, for goodness sakes, don't you help, help that bear. Well, the bear commenced to climb in the tree, and that sure made the preacher sore. And he kept a climb a little bit higher until he couldn't <laughs> climb no more. Just about then the limb let loose and they both came a tumbling down. And when that preacher began to pray, you could hear him for miles around. Oh Lord, you delivered Daniel from the lion's den. Also delivered Joe and Jonah from the whole belly of the whale and then Now the Hebrew children from the fiery furnace of the good book do declare Oh Lord, Lord, if you can't help me, for goodness sake, don't you help that bear Well, they fall all the way down to the river and it was a terrible fight Preacher was bear, <laughs> the bear was really a laying it on, but the preacher was doing <laughs> all right, all right. He drug that beast right into the river. It was three times in, in and, out. and out. Then the bear got up and he limped away, and the preacher began to shout, "Oh Lord, you delivered Daniel from the lion's den." Also delivered Jonah from the belly of the whale, and then... Nice. <laughs> now, Lord, it might not seem like much from where you're sitting up there, but the hardest job I ever done, Lord, was baptizing that bear. <laughs> That's the story of the preacher, the story of the preacher and the bear.